Hi guys, Spartan here from SpartanTrading.com and I just want to come back and give you guys a video on a question that I get a lot and it's how do you choose your broker and the process of choosing your broker. So let's kind of go through that process and talk about some of the things that you need to think about and I'll give you some recommendations in regards to what I think um, some brokers may make sense for the long side, short side, options trading, not so active and then just basically the cheapest brokers as well. So choosing a broker, broker for trading. Let's quickly go through this little PowerPoint slide here. What broker is right for you? So a couple things you got to think about guys is the frequency of the trades. Are you going to be day trading? Are you going to be swing trading? Are you going to be investing? That's going to, you know, a lot of what you choose is going to be depending upon cost. If you're going to be day trading and the actual platform that is present, Swing trading, not so much. Um, the, the commission may not be as big of a factor, but you still might want a nice platform because when you're swing trading, you are using a lot of technicals and you will be doing a lot of charting to figure out what opportunities make sense. Investing, well, let's talk about brokers that have no cost associated with them. So you're not paying any money for commission. You're just looking to get into an investment position for the longer term. So cost of commission, what makes sense for you? If you're day trading more frequently, frequently maybe you're going to be trading, you know, smaller size, 100 to 400 shares, something like that per trade. Maybe it doesn't make sense to go with a broker that has a $5 minimum per trade. Most brokers have a $1 per 100 shares. Maybe it makes sense to go with something more variable than a fixed rate. Um, if you're going to be trading with larger size, let's say a thousand plus shares each trade, then it would make sense to go with a fixed uh, rate per trade. So that's something you do need to think about. Um, platform, is the platform needed? Do you need a platform for charting things out? A lot of the brokers have platforms you can download and the software can run on your computer or on your Mac iOS. Um, you gotta make sure that whatever you're using, it's compatible to it. And as well, ask yourself, okay, if I'm day trading and swing trading, I probably need a platform, or I will need a platform. If I'm investing, I definitely won't need one. So what platforms are good, what platforms are bad? Platform costs, is there a cost associated with using that platform a month? So you got to look into whether or not um, the cost at using the platform and the data is going to be sufficient for you or if it's not. There are some platforms that are free to use with data. There are some that are not. So you got to be looking into that. We'll talk about that at the end. Another thing we got to talk about is account size and PDT rule. If you guys have an account and you're in the United States and it's below $25,000, you're gonna be hit with the PDT rule, which is the pattern day trading rule. You cannot be getting in and out of things as much as you want. You're limited to three trades. So you gotta ask yourself, okay, if I'm gonna be under the PDT rule, then maybe I should be swing trading because that's what I'm, I want to do, or maybe I'm just gonna be strictly investing. You cannot have the PDT rule and be very actively day trading. Um, there is one way around that. If you do use a broker that's in the United States and you do wanna day trade, You'll have to be using a cash account and that way you can get in and out of stuff as much as you want. You just need to wait for the cash to settle the next day, which means that if you're using a certain dollar amount, that cash after that trade is done is gone for the day. So you don't have as much buying power as you would um, on in that account. You got to wait for it to settle. In regards to an account over $25,000, you can day trade as much as you want in and out of whatever amount of money. So you got to ask yourself, okay, if I'm going to be day trading, um, you know, I can't really adhere to the, the PDT rule. So is there, a, is there a way for me to avoid that PDT rule? Yes, cash account, or you can go offshore outside of the U US. Um, you can look at a certain number of brokers and I will outline those as well at the end. Lastly, we just talk about two other things we need to um, think about. Am I gonna be a long bias trader or a short bias trader? There's a lot of people who like to just buy stocks long and then sell, you know, try to make money to the upside or there's traders that like to short um, to the downside. Basically, a short sale is when you have a contract at a certain price and you can exchange that contract for the shares at a lower price and take the arbitrage between the two areas as your profit. There's a lot of uh, information on short selling. You can Google it um, and you'll see a whole bunch of information. I would look at the Investopedia definition of short selling and just go through some examples there. Option trading or stock trading? Are you going to be options trading or stock trading? So options is using um, a contract that is executed at a certain price and you can make money using options uh, because they give you a lot more leverage. They're cheap and if they do get into the money, if you're buying a contract at a certain price and the price goes above that contract, 
you can take the arbitrage on that contract um, and exchange it, obviously sell it for um, whatever profit on that contract is up. Again, you know, look at Investopedia. There's a lot of basics on option trading that you can look at there. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about option wise, it probably doesn't make sense to just dive into option trading. And then stock trading. If you're strictly going to be stock trading, then there's a lot of different platforms that make sense in terms of uh, commissions. Option trading, there's a lot of expensive uh, platforms on execution. There's are, there are cheaper ones as well. So we'll talk about those at the end. So option commission varies and we'll briefly talk over that now. So here are some of the brokers that I recommend. Um, if you're going to be going long, short, if you're trying to avoid the PDT, if you're looking for just cheap commissions, um, if you're looking at options trading, or you're just going to be non-active kind of uh, investing, just looking to place your money in something and you don't want to spend the money on the commissions anyways. So long trading, uh, TD, great platform. Uh, you know, a lot of people use their charts and software because it is free. Um, the data is free. You just have to have a little bit of money in the account there. Um, great platform, pretty looking charts, very fluid. Uh, maybe not the best for active trading, but definitely a good starting point. Speed Trader, same type of deal. Charles Schwab E-Trade um, as well. Decent commissions, good for long bias traders. Um, either swing trading or day trading if you're just starting out. I think those are great places to start. Quest Trade if you're Canadian, uh, good place to start as well. Short trading. So if you're going to be more on the short bias, you got to look for brokers that have allocation to borrow the stocks that you're looking at. Most short traders, when they do start out, they're looking to be shorting the cheaper stocks. And the ones with the best borrows I found are Venom Trading, Cobra Trading, which they are, you know, Venom's a subsidiary of Cobra, Centerpoint Securities, which is what I use. Um, it, you need a little bit of a bigger account to go with them, but fantastic customer service and they you know I think uh, the rates for boros and they typically have everything um, very reasonable sure trader offshore um, you know good good broker to use if you're also looking to short things trade zero has some good allocates as well and interactive brokers which is probably on the lower end they don't have a lot of the cheap stocks but they do have a lot of the mid caps and the big caps and they tend to actually have some of the cheap stuff but not all the time Avoiding the PDT rule, you have to look at brokers that are offshore. Um, two ones that I've placed here are SureTrader and TradeZero, so you can look at both of those. Uh, cheap commissions, Robinhood, no commission, TradeZero, no commission. Uh, TradeZero, you're just paying for actual access to the platform a month if you're going to be using their platform. Interactive brokers, I've found, have been fairly cheap uh, commission as well. And then Tastyworks um, is another one, but on the option side, which you can look at. So you can look at those ones as well. Uh, interactive brokers on the option side, one of my favorite options trading platforms, uh, great data, uh, great building of strategies. I think the commissions and the execution is fairly cheap as well. Tastyworks, cheap execution, um, buying and selling of contracts if you're going to be more op uh, active on the option side. Teamy, uh, TD as well, not a bad starting point. Non-active, you know, Robinhood, obviously no commissions. They have an app on the phone that you, you know, use to trade. They have options as well. Um, interactive brokers, non-active, I think that's fine as well. I like the strategy building that they have. Um, you can basically put in probabilities, etc., uh, into their um, platform and build things off of that. And then lastly, non-active, TD. Uh, TD is basically a great starting point across the board, but um, I would be looking at, you know, if you're looking more in depth at short selling, avoiding the PDT, etc., you can go into that. Thanks, guys. That's it for today. I uh, just wanted to quickly give you some insight into what I think and where I think you should focus and what kind of are the best videos or the best uh, brokers in each location. If you guys got any questions, you guys can check us out at spartantrading.com right here. Uh, give us a quick read. If you guys want to talk to me directly, spartan at spartantrading.com is my email address. Happy to answer any questions or give you a little bit more insight to what we do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a good day.